welcome back to Best Stock Kitchen with Kelsey and Sarah. Today we're making sushi bowls with yam tempura because we're not good at rolling sushi. First step is to make your batter. So to make our batter, we're going to mix a third of a cup of flour into a bowl. A third of a cup of cornstarch into a bowl. The same bowl, actually, as the flour. Okay. And then we are going to gradually add in a quarter of a cup of club soda into the same bowl as the other ingredients. Um, we are looking for the consistency of a thick, smooth batter that coats the back of the spoon. Well, we got it open. <laughs> Took a little bit of cleaning, but anyways, we're going to gradually pour in a quarter of this stuff. It it wasn't it was just sitting on our counter for like a whole day. No one shook it. Like there's no reason it should have done that other than this is the devil's water. <laughs> I'm covered in water. Should I just stir this with a whisk? Or a spoon? A spoon, I guess. Yeah, we want the consistency. We don't want to see the consistency on a spoon. Oh my goodness. Next, we are going to start preparing our rice. And to do that, we're going to wash it. So you can do this with any rice. You should do it with like, with like sushi rice style, whatever. Like we can get that right now. So we have whatever rice we can get a hold of, and we're going to prepare it as one would sushi rice. So we're just gonna wash it until the water runs out clear. So we're gonna prepare one cup of rice. We'll wash it thoroughly and then we will set it on the stove to bubble. So now we are going to heat our oil in this pan on the stove and we are going to wait for it to heat up until it's 350-ish degrees. Um, and we are going to test it with a wooden spoon. So you put the end into the pan and when there's bubbles, it's ready. Watch our donut video if you wanna know. Yeah, watch the donut video. If you haven't watched the donut video and you're watching this video, there's something wrong with you. Donuts are a bomb. Our oil is hot, so here goes nothing. What we're gonna do is take our yam slices, dip them in our batter until they are coated, and then gently and carefully whoops, drop them into the oil. And we fry them on either side until they're golden brown. And this is pretty much it. Like, from here on, what we have to do is we season our rice, and then we assemble with whatever veggies you want, which we've pre-cut over there. And that's dinner, folks. So now we are going to dress our very naked rice. So in this little bowl, we have two tablespoons of rice vinegar, one teaspoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt and we're going to gradually add some into our rice. I guess until we like the taste of it. Okay, so here we have our yam tempura and the rest of our sushi bowl. So we have cucumber, bell pepper, avocado, little nori chopped up, cut up. Um, our rice, I have tamari on mine, carrot, oh, carrot, I just want to carrot. Sarah also has some carrot. So we're gonna try, we don't have chopsticks. Um, and now I'm realizing why, because it's very crunchy, it's hard to stab into, but just forgive us, we don't have anything. That's very nice, actually. We were really worried. I'm gonna put some tamari. Mm hmm I think she's nice. Wonderful. Oh, and I'll try the rice. I've already tried the rice. 
The rice is nice. It's still fizzing so much. Going crazy. I don't like fizzy water. No, neither do I. <laughs> I like like fizzy juices and things like that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to mix it with something. Yeah. I'll mix it with juice or something. One of our juice container things. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try some of the club soda because I know it will be gross. Okay, it's not that gross. <laughs> It'd be really bad. <laughs> Look, Sarah wet herself. <laughs> so did Kelsey. <laughs> but way up high on my sweater. See? All right. So Oops, I kicked you. <laughs> Sarah, what do you do if you get rice in your flour? <laughs> you take a plastic bottle and you cut an opening into, like you send it on this long side, you cut an opening into it, you stab the bottom with a knife and create little holes, and then you can put your flour rice mixture in the big opening and you can sieve out the rice. Wow, what a great idea. Hey, right? Thanks, BuzzFeed. Was it BuzzFeed? Five Minute Crafts. Thanks, Five Minute Crafts. Alternatively, use a sieve. Alternatively, who stores rice in their flour? I think we um, accidentally brought a yam to life. Is it breathing or is it sparkling? Oh, it's a heart. <laughs>